Good morning. It's January 15th on Saturday. This is Gregory Hillman with B2Review.com. I'd like to review this method of creating broccoli from seed that I've started and share it with you. Uh, essentially, we have five rows here of broccoli, and you can see that some of them are doing very well, some holes in them, and others have been eaten up considerably by what I believe to be California cauliflower larvae. And you can see one of these larvae over here. Hopefully, it's a small green larvae here. And these have been eating up the broccoli, the turnips and other vegetables in the garden, but what I'll typically do is just reach in and pick them off with another leaf and then just make sure it's completely gone. I have read that uh, BT will help out considerably with the cauliflower larvae. However, I've also read that BT in an Australian study may cause liver damage as well to humans in some significant amount. So I haven't been using BT yet, but next season I may have to because the cauliflower larvae here are just eating these guys alive. Um, I've also planted cauliflower in the raised beds and I'll do a future video on how that's worked out. Uh, some of the containers I just put one broccoli in and other containers I put a couple broccoli in that I might separate eventually just to see how those work out. And we're looking forward to some really good harvest this year. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, also, you might check out the containers or gallon containers on a uh, just one of these pieces of wood. And then that's set above the ground. So that way the water has the ability to drain over the ground. And what I've done here is set other containers below the pallet so that way uh, the water um, has the ability to go into other plants as well. So broccoli, it's a terrific vegetable and wonderful to eat and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, it's Gregory Hillman on January 15, 2011 for B2Review.com.